Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you this engagement makeup look. Or you can wear this makeup to your um, sister's wedding, to your brother's wedding, to your best friend's wedding. I think this look is perfect. And I have created this blue and gold half cut crease glittery eye look. Recently, I realized that I haven't done so many blue looks on my channel. So I decided to do a blue look this time. Before starting, if you are new here, then hi, I am Nita. Please take a moment to subscribe. For that, go to your YouTube app and press that red subscribe button. Also, press the bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. As always, I'm starting with my brows first. For that, first I'm taking this wet and wild retractable eyebrow pencil in the shade medium brown, and I'm just filling up the gaps and sparse areas. Now with the spoolie, I'm just combing my brow so that the product is well saturated. Now I'm taking this Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer in the shade light medium, and I'm just cleaning up the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined. I'm also applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime my eyelids for eyeshadows that is coming up next. Now I'm blending it out using a damp beauty sponge. This one is from Flower Beauty. Now I'm taking this Coty Airspan Translucent Extra Coverage Loose Powder and I'm just setting my eyelids to, so that the concealer does not crease. For my eyes, first I'm taking Silk Cream from my Morphe Jaclyn Hill Palette. It is a very light warm brown color and I'm just warming up my crease. Then I'm taking Putter which is a warm toned brown color and I'm applying it as my transition color and the brush that I'm using it is from Puna store. Then I'm taking Twerk which is a royal blue color and it is beautiful and I'm just applying it all over on my crease. I'm taking Abyss which is a matte black eyeshadow and with this elf brush I'm applying it on my outer view area. I'm just cutting my crease and I'm going to create a half cut crease look over here. Now I'm just diffusing the borders so that blending becomes easier later on. And I'm again setting the concealer with the same loose powder so that it does not crease. And I'm applying two arc next to the black eyeshadow. And it is a slanted line, it is not a straight line as you guys can see. I'm taking Queen which is a beautiful shimmery gold color and I'm applying it on the inner part of my eyelid. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I'm just building out the edges so that there is a nice gradient effect. I'm taking the matte black eyeshadow and I'm applying it on the border of the cut crease. This technique is called pencil technique and look at the difference it just made. It just made my cut crease even prominent. I'm taking this glitter primer from NYX and I'm applying it on top of the blue eyeshadow because I'm going to use a blue glitter on top of the blue eyeshadow. For my glitter I'm taking this NYX um, face and body glitter in the shade blue and I'm applying it on top of that blue eyeshadow. For my eyeliner, I'm taking this Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in the shade black as black and I'm creating a nice wing here. It's a bit difficult to create a wing on top of a glitter but you have to be patient. I'm 
before continuing with my eye makeup i'm going to finish my base then i will return to my eye makeup again for that first i'm taking this nyx angel veil primer and i'm just priming my face i already moisturized my face half an hour ago i am obsessed with this primer what a primer you should grab this one as soon as possible now i'm color correcting a bit for that i'm using this la girl orange color corrector and i'm just applying it underneath my eyes around my mouth and i'm just blending it out with my finger for my foundation i'm using my favorite foundation from the drugstore this is the pack age liquid foundation in the shade 2.3 i just love this foundation and i was using this foundation after ages and i was like i love this foundation and i should use this foundation often there is a quick little fact i actually used this particular foundation on my wedding as well as on my reception for highlighting and concealing i'm using the same flower beauty concealer and i'm applying it underneath my eyes cupid bow chin on the sides of my mouth on the center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose and just under here i'm going to place my contour next now again i'm just blending everything out using the same damp beauty sponge Now using the same loose powder, I'm just setting my under eyes as well as my smile lines because I get creases on those areas pretty quickly. Now I'm taking this Fit Me compact powder in the shade transparent and I'm just setting my entire face and neck. I'm applying a lot of loose powder underneath my eyes. It will help to catch all those fallouts due to the eyeshadows and I can dust it off later without spoiling my base. For my eyes, first I'm tightening my eyes with the same Maybelline gel eyeliner. I love this stuff. This is smudge proof and long lasting. Now I'm just smudging out my entire lower lash line with the same black eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Taking the blue eyeshadow, I'm just applying it on the border of that black eyeshadow and as you guys can see i'm not dragging it all the way in because i'm applying queen on my inner corners i'm just quickly dusting off the excess powder to highlight my brow bones and my inner corners i'm using enlighten it is the first shade of this palette and this color is stunning it is stunning for highlighting your brow bones and your inner corners I'm just curling my natural lashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm applying a coat of mascara. This is my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. For my falsies, I'm going with this Adel 3D Fox Mink Lashes in this style 857 and here is the final eye look. I really love the way how it turned out. It is so glam yet wearable. I'm going to finish my face for that first I'm taking this wet and wild contour palette in the shade caramel toffee and with this wet and wild contour brush I'm just contouring the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, jawline and my nose. And for contouring my nose I'm using an eyeshadow brush from wet and wild. I'm taking this flower beauty bronzer and I am bronzing up my face because you know as it's summer and a bronzer is like a must have for me. You can totally skip this step if you want. For my blush I'm taking this NYX HD blush in amber I believe and this color is perfection. I'm mixing these particular two shades from my flower beauty highlighting palette and I'm just hitting the high points of my face with a fan brush. This is again gorgeous. I'm setting my entire makeup with my e.l.f. makeup setting spray. For my lips, first I'm lining as well as filling them up using this Wet n Wild gel lip liner in the shade red the scene i believe yes this is in the shade red the scene 
So for my lips, I'm going with this Colourpop Ultimate Liquid Lipstick in the shade Skyfall and this is a stunning pink colour and this lip combo, it is perfect. And that's pretty much it. And here's the final look. I loved the way how it turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Also, please share this video with your friends and family and let them know about my channel. It will mean a lot to me. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar down below. So please go ahead and check that out. So see you soon in my next one. Till then, bye and take care.